With me now, Paul Whelan's brother, David, who has been a tireless advocate for Paul's freedom. Mr. Whelan, I can only imagine the range of emotions you've all gone through. Your brother said he is greatly disappointed that more has not been done to secure his release. Do you think that more could have been done? I think in, at this point, no. Uh, I think the U.S. government has really run through all of its options. And uh, I, I think the challenge for our family is to wait and see what other options the U.S. Uh, can uh, can drum up. The White House gave your family advance notice that Brittany Griner would be coming home and that your brother would not be. Um, that's a lot to take in. Can you tell me how you all process that, that reality? Well, I have to say that the White House uh, was very considerate. Uh, but having that time really was nice. It, uh, you go through a lot of emotions when you first learn about, uh, you know, your loved one not coming home. Uh, and uh, we have done this already once in the public eye, and it was uh, much easier to go through those uh, emotions uh, privately. President Biden, in his first remarks this morning, noted that for some reason Russia is treating your brother's case differently or certainly differently than, than Brittany Griner's. Do, do you believe that and do you understand why? Uh, it does seem to be true. I mean, I, I'll take the uh, the president's word at it, and also Paul has expressed something similar. Uh, it's not clear to me why. I think um, Russia, the Kremlin, is a, a playground bully, uh, and they look at things and they want parity. And so if someone has hit them three times, they will hit three times back. They've put a label of esp uh, espionage and spy on Paul, uh, and I think that they will now wait until they need to cash that chip in for a, a real spy, uh, a Russian spy. And my thanks to David Whelan for talking to us tonight. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.